okay so this is the next video in our continuation of our aw series so in this uh, video uh, we will again see the s3 service only so in the last video like i have told you regarding the s3 object block but i think uh, a few things like i tell something wrong so i have converted to s3 object block means like uh, it works on the wom model so wom model means like uh, write once read many so if you uh put the object once so you can't overwrite even delete that particular objects and then i told you like how to actually implement that so i told you maybe there is some policy but that is actually wrong we can do that uh, that is using ui as well so let's try so what we will do we will create a s3 s3 bucket right and upload the file and uh, set the object log and then try to delete it okay so let's create a bucket create the bucket bucket one and uh, in the region two and uh, one more thing i want to tell you as three object lock only works with versioning so the versioning should be like enable so if i scroll down so here is the versioning but let let i did not i make it disable only so and if i go to the advanced setting you could see one option that is the object lock and object lock means store object using a write once read many model so first we have to like uh, enable the setting on the object and then we have to do some settings like uh, for the objects so first we have to like enable the setting on the bucket then we have to do some setting on the object itself okay let's enable it so here you could see uh, object looks but only in the version bucket enabling object looks automatically enables uh, object versioning even though i did not uh, like uh, select the bucket versioning disable but as soon as i select the object look it automatically select the enable so that means object lock only works with the versioning of the model so you could see object uh, lock will permanently allow objects in the bucket to be locked okay i acknowledge that let's create a bucket so bucket has been created so let's try to uh, upload something so upload add files and uh, india flag now so if you scroll down yeah so here you could see object log a store object using write once read only model to prevent the object logs there's three console okay so let's let, let's first upload it so the file has been uploaded right so now my object has like uh, 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 my bucket has one one object and i can delete that if i select this and and i can i can easily delete that i have the delete option and and i can delete that so because uh, i have not so let's try to delete it so successfully deleted right because the object lock is enable on the bucket not on the object itself so first we have to enable the object lock on the bucket then we have to set the object lock on the object itself as well so which object so let's try to again the uploading the file so now i have uploaded the file again so file has been uploaded now click on the particular object and if you scroll down under the property section right so here you could see object log retention period right so till which time you want to make this object as a like so click on the edit so prevent object from being deleted or over from from a fixed amount of time so let's enable it and here further you have the two mode one is the governance mode one is the compliance mode governance mode is users 
with specific IAM permission can overwrite or delete the file. So if the user is a root user or even that user has the permission, then doesn't matter whether we have the object log or not, the user can delete the file. So let's uh, try with the governance mode first and uh, save the changes. So I have to like uh, make it uh, retain and so after the retain until the objects are no longer protected by the choose the retention. So let's select the retention date for uh, uh, 12th, one day from today, save the changes and go to the bucket and let's try to delete it and delete one minute because the versioning is enabled. So I have to show the version and then select and then delete and then permanently delete. So you could see successfully deleted. Why it has been successfully deleted even though I have put the object log. The reason is I am the I am user Sumanshu Nankana and this user has the administrative access. So let me show you as well. Because we put the objects as a, so if you go to the users, so we have this user and this user is the part of the group admin. So it is the part of the group admin and it, which permission it has. It has the administrative access permission. And when we like uh, select the object, uh, what we have actually uh, like uh, selected, we selected the governance model, not the compliance model. So for the governance model, the root user and the users who have the access can delete the object. It doesn't matter whether like uh, uh, we have put the object log or not. So close it. Now try to upload uh, the file again. Add file. India flag. Open. So upload it. So successfully uploaded. Now open the file. And under the properties, scroll down and go to the object log retention, edit, enable the object log. Now we have the compliance mode. So in the compliance mode, no user, doesn't matter whether it's a root user or whether it is an administrative user or any user, no user will be able to delete the file until its retention period. So make sure you should select the retention period as small as possible while you are doing the hand zone. The reason is, so today is 11th. So let's suppose I have selected the 12th. So you can see, I that I I have like these option, I can select the 12, 13, 14. So I have selected the 12th. So one day from today. Now, if I try to select again, so I have selected the 12th. And uh, if I selected the 13th, let's suppose 13th. And I can select that. Okay, let's let's do like a one day from today only. So because if you selected like maybe thirty or maybe longer period and you save the changes, then you can't go back. Uh, even the like uh, you have like so once it is been selected, then it is selected. So just make sure like uh, you select the retention period as small as possible. So let's twelve, and now I am in the compliance mode. So save the changes and go to the bucket and now like enable the version. Now let's try to delete the file. So delete, permanently delete. Now what we are expecting because it is the compliance mode in the compliance mode, we own the object log. So no user should be able to delete the file. So we will see. So delete object. So you could see I am getting the error, fail delete. So fail to delete the object and access denied. Because it is in under because uh, error is access generated, but basically the reason is uh, because uh, the retention policy is uh, applicable on, on this particular object. So I can only delete the particular object once the retention period is like over. So make sure when you play with this option, you should select the retention period as soon as possible. Because if you select this and uh, if I saw retention mode is compliant and retain until 12th of April. So after 12th of April, I can delete the file. Before that, I can't even delete the file. So these are the two like uh, options. 
so even i can't even like go to the governess mode once it is selected then it is selected okay so for the governess mode so the those files which you think uh, like uh, you can delete so you can put in the governor compliance mode so there are could be some file which is required for the audit purpose so we don't want to get it modified meanwhile so we can put into the compliance mode until the audit or like uh, audit date so once the audit uh, like has been done then we can after that delete that so that's it so we have covered the like uh, s3 object block as well so but make sure like uh, because now i have put the return like retention mode i can't even delete the file so i have to wait for one day so if you are uh, because i don't have to pay because it's a very small file and we have the 5 gb of storage free and i have selected the retention period as only one day so tomorrow i will delete that file that's not a problem so but make sure when you play it so play it carefully so yeah so that's the end of the video uh, thank you